He just combat assist. Hey everybody, Activate. this is Minion Systems Soldier, and ring. I just uh, wanted to uh, do a quick video Rando and just talk form. about uh, some Initiate. of my first impressions contact. of the Vanguard. Begins now, this Warning. is uh, about my fourth or fifth run through on the Vanguard, and contact. I've made a change Begins to it. Scanned. And the change that I've made to the Vanguard is that I've t actually taken the Gatling gun off of it. Now, the Gatling gun that you can see here. I was having issues with the fact that because of the huge disparity between the travel time of both projectile hey, weapons and fire. energy weapons that these kind of uh, lead indicators on the enemy ships were actually widely spread shield apart so it basically made it to the point that I could never bring all the nose guns to bear at any one time. And that was kind of disappointing because it always Where? felt Drop. like you were fighting with one hand tied behind your back in the vanguard. And I was I was disappointed in the end. And plus, I mean, Kill. the Gatling gun really didn't sound like Shield. a Gatling gun oh. at all. So what I did is I went back to the hangar and I did this. I basically stripped the Gatling gun off of the uh, Vanguard. I replaced it Kill. with the uh, M6A laser which is another bearing laser much like the uh, proprietary lasers that are out the four laser cannons in the nose and then once i got back into game which the, which is the gameplay that you're seeing here the first gameplay trying this out i hit you know control g to gimbal lock the weapon so basically all my weapons were kind of unified at one aim point they all had the same travel time for their you know quote unquote projectiles whether it be laser bolts or actual you know material shells coming out of a machine gun and though the range wasn't uh, quite as good I mean just the results were unmistakable it was it was uh, an absolute transformation because these little lead indicators that you can see are actually touching each other whereas I mean there were cases where they were almost like almost an entire ship length apart when I was using projectiles and the uh, proprietary lasers in the nose and so it really just transformed this ship and it it really enhanced the gameplay of it i find like noticeably Kill. and plus i mean if you've ever used the m you know the m3a or any of the bearing laser series you know that um these guns are very very Head hard shield. to overheat Underfire. i mean you really 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 got to lay into down. them to cause them to overheat, whereas, as you can see here, you know, I'm just able to constantly use them, I'm not always getting overheat alerts every 10 seconds, it's, you know, it's it was just a much more pleasant experience, I mean, you know, like a lot of people, of course, you know, I was kind of excited by the idea of, you know, kind of the Vanguard being something of a space A-10, but the truth is, I mean, in the end, Warning. what I want is a competent weapon system, and boundary. you know this really I feel that by unifying the weapons, and you just you get a much better result. Now I guess an argument Zero could be made, you know, remain. energy weapons are better for defeating armor, whereas projectile weapons pass through shields, contact. and has, so having Elite a mix of weapons is preferable. Contact. But, in this Shields situation, up. because of the Shields disparity recharging. in travel time between Shields the two types up. of weapons, I mean, Shields you really up. can only bring Shields one weapon recharging. system to bear at any Shields given time up. anyways when you're, when you're dogfighting. So I just feel that this was the better way to go, and it Shields really enhanced up. the gameplay Shields of the ship. Uh, I would say by, you know, at least the gunnery by about 100%. Now, I'm sure there's limited situations where you would want a gimbaled gun, but, once again, I can just hit Control-G and then I can have control of that M6A laser again and just use it as a gimbaled gun. Or, I can hit Control-G again and then fix it and then use all the guns unified. And, I mean, to me, it just, this makes more sense. I wish, you know, I wish we could change the guns in the nose. I think that is something worth exploring on the forums and something to kind of take to the developers and say you know these fixed guns in the nose we need to be able to change these to different types of guns there has to be like i realize that this is a stand-in for the bearing laser series then there should be other stand-ins for other weapon series you know like 
badger repeaters uh, or what well, I guess yeah badgers would be the size twos so that's what would go in the nose badgers things like that other stand-ins for other weapons because I don't think that you should be absolutely forced to use a single weapon system in a slot like this. I mean, we saw how well that did with the Avenger. Uh, you know, I think it's time that we just kind of cast that aside we, as, you know, kind of like the dumb idea that it is and embraced, you know, a little more freedom in how we equip yeah. and how we fit our ships. Now, my thoughts overall on the Vanguard combat wise are generally very positive. Very resilient ship. I've enjoyed it. Um, the maneuverability, I have to say, like, the maneuverability is actually Kill. quite acceptable, and I wouldn't alert. Head. be so troubled by it. I mean, or troubled by the idea of taking the maneuverability away, so long as there's a commensurate increase in the, in the ship's overall speed, like SCM speed, space combat maneuvering speed, the speed that we're traveling at now being 180, the maximum. I think Elite if units, you're going to take away maneuverability, warning. you got to increase the you speed. Because boundaries. when you're when you're talking about fighters, warning. There are I mean the dominant inbound. factor that always Contact. defines Begins, you know scan. kind of the quality of a fighter. I mean, weapons are one thing, but really it all comes down to speed or maneuverability or speed and maneuverability together. But generally if you don't have one you gotta have the other in spades and really if you're gonna take the maneuverability away from this ship you gotta make it faster otherwise i mean even though it's got a turret to defend it you still Kill. most of its weapons are fixed in the nose Head shield under it's, fire. if you're gonna take its maneuverability away it's a big ship it's a big target it's not hard to hit shield you gotta increase its speed I mean, you really, really do. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, no matter how much you increase the resilience, the, you know, even reasonably competent fighters, like human piloted fighters, are just going to chip away at you and eat you up, and you're not going to be able to escape because you're not going to be fast enough. If you don't have maneuverability, you have to have speed. So if maneuverability is going to be taken away from the ship, I think the speed of the ship has to be increased. I mean, that's the... the that's my thoughts. Now, I'm not talking about taking up to, say, 270 meters a second. Kill. But I think a fair argument could be made for 200 to 220 meters a second in speed. I just think that, basically, in a situation with a ship this big, you really don't have much of a choice. The engines on this thing are so huge that, I mean, a, a logical argument Proximity could be made alert. for it being Head. not so maneuverable. But it would have to be fast. And if you're going to limit the maneuverability, you know, very, very strongly on a ship like this, I mean, you're just going to turn it into, you know, fighter food. Because even though it's got a turn on it, it's still most of its firepower is fixed in the nose. And it's just not going to be able to turn and gun to fight its way out of a bad situation and you could say well you know it does have a turret and i can shoot in multiple directions but if it's if it's getting jumped by a fighter that turret can also be taken out and two size two guns versus most of the firepower on most standard fighters these days isn't that much so those, those are a couple of uh improvements that Zero i can think of with this ship remaining. in all honesty if this thing was it was going to be Warning. Next to, uh, if it was going to be very Begin unmaneuverable, scan. I would actually argue that the speed on this thing possibly should be sitting somewhere around 230 to 240 meters a second. If it can't turn, it's got to be able to just go in a straight line and go like stink. Anyways, those are my uh, first impressions of the Vanguard. Obviously, a work in progress. Obviously... You know, a lot of people are going to have opinions on it. Those are my impressions of it. I enjoy it. Do I feel that it was money well spent? Yes, I do. I can't wait to... I mean, the the fixed gun that I have... Or the gun that I have underneath the nose on this right now, which is the M6A, is still only a size 4. I want to see this thing with a fixed size 5. I want to see what it does then. Because I really think there's a lot of potential for this thing Ew. as a strike fighter. Now... For combat maneuvering, 
that remains to be seen. Those, all those explorations are to come hopefully over this weekend Kill. and I'll probably try to uh, put together a much more informed and a much more uh, thought out video on the Vanguard very soon. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys are enjoying your Vanguards too. Thanks for watching. Kill. Warning, you are approaching simulation boundary. Zero hostile contacts remaining.